Have you ever tried making a paper boat like this? Now, let's try to put it in the water. What happened? How about this ship? It's quite big, isn't it? And it also floats in the ocean. How does that happen? Why do ships float in the water? Do all materials float? Let's find the answer. Do you ever wonder why some materials float in the water while some sink? This little dock can float in the water, but this coin sinks in the water when thrown, like the coins we see in this vision well. Why do you think so? Some materials, like wood and cork, can float in water, while others, like rocks and marbles, completely sink. When you drop an apple on top of a liquid, like water, it pushes the liquid aside and occupies the space it was previously occupying. This is called displacement. It means no material can be in the exact same place at the same time. Try to drop a coin or a small rock in a bowl of water. See what happens? That is displacement. There are also materials that float or rise to the surface of a liquid. This property is called buoyancy. The buoyancy of a material is the result of the upward force exerted by the liquid. Just like these leaves. Look! Remember, buoyancy does not depend on the size of the object but on its density. So, it doesn't matter if the object is big or small. As long as the object has a lower density, it will float. Meanwhile, if the object has a higher average density than the fluid, it will sink. We're almost done! But before you go, here's a little trivia for you. Did you know? A ship is heavy and made of steel, but its special shape and the large volume of air enclosed in it gives it a less average density than water. And that's the reason why it floats in the ocean. There are many things to be curious about. Do not get tired of asking questions about the things around you. Stay curious! See you next time!